it's very simple really. If you look at the options for politicians and for governments to save energy in an economic way, building insulation comes out as the number one policy instrument to doing that. It's probably 40% of the opportunity we have to really save energy. And there's nothing better than saved energy. Saved energy is clean, it's economical, and it's the right thing for us to do. And a house like that is living proof of how we can do that together. It, it truly is one of those things that hits every single spot. It's good in terms of economics, it's good in terms of energy security, which is an important issue in Europe. It's good in terms of the environment, and it's good in terms of jobs as well. It really hits every single spot, dead on. Well, there are a number of different materials you can use in terms of insulation, and what's happening is, as the standards get tougher and tougher in terms of saving more energy within the same sort of space, the better quality insulants come to the fore, and that's just what's happening. Polyurethanes makes the, the best performing insulant in serious scale and quantities for commercial buildings like this, and it's no surprise that we're seeing good adoption, good growth, because it saves energy better. You've got to look at the whole package, and that's what builders and architects do. They look at the insulating material, but also the whole cost, the constructability. And this is a lovely example here because the roof is very modular, and the way the, the insulation on the wall locks together is just what the builder is looking for, and that's important.